hello guys in this video we are going to discuss about the inner product spaces and about their properties or the conditions that to be satisfied for the inner product and some at the end we'll solve some problems based on a inner product okay so let us begin with the definition of inner product spaces so basically an inner product spaces is special type of vector space that has a mechanism for computing a version of dot product between vectors so it is basically your dot product you have to understand that okay so an inner product is generalized version of dot product that can be defined in any real or complex vector space as long as it satisfies the few conditions so importantly we have to understand the few conditions that to be satisfied for the inner product okay so we have to just understand no need to by heart or no need to learn the definitions just you need to understand the concept behind the inner product spaces so basically here it is dot product so let us see the condition that to be satisfied for the inner product so few conditions are there three conditions the first one is symmetry it is basically we can consider it as a property also so symmetry is this this one is also called as conjugate okay so symmetry of two vectors let us say we are taking two vectors v1 and v2 now the thing is that for inner product so we have to see the symbol of the inner product to represent inner product we use the simple greater sign or lesser sign that symbols okay and in between the vectors we will put one comma okay so that is given here so we will call we will say it as inner product of v1 and v2 vectors now that is equal to what inner product of v2 and v1 here it is nothing but symmetry the opposite of this or we can say conjugate of the vectors now this is the first property or the condition second one is the linearity property where in case we have a a which is nothing but the scalars okay scalar and v1 v2 are the vectors the first thing is that inner product of a v1 and v2 is equal to we'll take what scalar outside and inner product of v1 and v2 that's it okay the second one is that be in the under the linearity property itself v1 plus v2 inner product of v1 plus v2 and v3 these three are what vectors and what we'll get we'll get it as v1 v3 inner product of v1 v3 plus v2 v3 that's it okay now the third one is a v1 plus b v2 where a and b are the scalar and that we should take it outside so basically we are taking a outside and inner product of v1 and v3 it is same as this thing just i have added here scalars a and b that's it okay so we have to just take a outside and here also b outside rest all is same as the second one and the third and the last condition is that positive definite property it is nothing but if you are considering a vector v whose inner product we are taking v inner product of v and v this both are the same vectors it will be greater than or equal to zero this point you have to remember okay so whenever we calculate the inner product of the same vector then we, it should be what greater than or equal to zero if it is equal to zero then we should that implies what the v vector will be what zero that will say when we solve some certain problems based on this okay so you have to understand this three condition the first one is symmetry we call it as conjugate also then linearity then positive definite property now we'll see some more few important points based on the inner product spaces okay before solving some problems we have to see look into some important points the first one is if v is any vector then norm or length we call it as norm or length of v vector it is denoted by this is the important point if we are to calculate the norm or length of the vector we have to use this symbol this is nothing but the symbol of norm or a length of a vector it is given as under root of inner product of the same vectors okay you can observe here v i have taken the vector here it is nothing but double line straight lines i have given here vertical lines this is the uh, we can say notation of norm or length and how to calculate it it is nothing but under root of square root of inner product of the same vectors okay which should be equal greater than or equal to this property we have discussed 
or in other words we can say the norm of a length of vector v square square of that it is equal to what in a product of the same vectors now the second point if the norm of vector v if it is equal to 1 then v is called as what unit vector and v is said to be normalized when if v norm of v is equal to what 1 net next next one is if we are supposed to suppose we will take one unit vector this is the unit vector if v is any vector okay then the unit vector is denoted by what vector by norm of that vector norm or length of that vector and this process is called as finding out the unit vector this is called as what normalizing vector v okay this is nothing but normalizing now the next point is if suppose if unit or inner product of u and v vector u and v be any vectors okay so if it is equal to zero then u and v are called orthogonal vectors this point is important orthogonal vectors and orthonormal vectors orthonormal is nothing but when the inner product of u and v vectors are is equal to what one okay so this also after discussing this all properties uh, and the important points so let us go with the solving some problems okay so let us solve the problems based on this inner product now u vector is given v vector is given and w vectors are given okay those three vectors are given now they are asked to find out the inner product of between u and v v and w and norm or we can say length of the u vector and even the u vector inner product of u vector that means the same vectors okay so let us take with the first one so for solving the first one inner product means what we have to find the dot product between the vectors so basically first i'll write the vectors so 1 5 3 dot product with 2 minus 3 1 i have just wrote the u and v vector dot product of both of them now in order to do the dot product you have to just multiply with the respective this we can say x y z and z coordinates and just you have to multiply okay so 1 into 2 plus 5 into minus 3 plus 3 into 1 so it is equal to 2 plus minus 15 plus 3 which is equal to what minus 10 so let us do the second question now you have to find the inner product of v and w so first i'll write v vector 2 3 1 so 2 into 1 plus 3 into minus 2 plus 1 into 4 which is equal to 2 plus minus 6 plus 4 so which is equal to equal to what 6 plus 6 minus 6 it is equal to 0 so this is one example of what orthogonal vector okay this is example of what orthogonal vector where that means these two vectors which one v and w are nothing but the orthogonal vectors since the inner product of these two we got it as what zero okay if suppose the inner product of these two vectors are equal to is equal to what one then it is orthonormal vectors okay so let us do the third one third one is nothing but we have to find the norm so we have the formula for that how to find the norm which is equal to what under root of inner product of u comma u okay so it is nothing but this we are finding out it is nothing but the fourth answer itself so let us do first this one so we'll find out first the inner product of the u vectors now that is equal to 1 5 3 1 5 3 you have to just multiply 1 into 1 plus 5 into 5 plus 3 into 3 which is equal to 1 plus 25 
plus 1 plus 25 plus 9 which is equal to what 35 okay so this is nothing but the fourth answer itself now we have to do the under root of this so just you do the square root of this anyways no need to calculate the square root it is enough to write as square root of 35 okay so fourth answer we have it as what in a product of u and u vectors it is equal to 35 okay now the thing is that if you have observed that the third property that we have discussed about the positive definite it is given over here positive definite the inner products of the same vectors will be always greater than or equal to zero okay so that you can observe here we have found out the inner product of the same vectors you can try with the other vectors taking up any of the examples you will get it as what greater than or equal to zero okay this is the important thing and one more thing is that it is not necessary that you won't get negative numbers and all you will get it depends on the vectors you have taken or the questions that you are given okay